What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right. So before I get into this video, I want to give a shout out once again to the brother Giovanni Giles for once again showing love to the channel with a donation to the channel this time via the PayPal. Much respect to you for showing love to Two Raw Four TV. So. <laughs> Last night, Draymond Green got into it again, all right? He got into it again. This time, he was ejected for choking Rudy Gobert, putting him in a, <laughs> putting him in a, a baby boy Debo chokehold. Now, of course, Rudy Gobert wasn't exactly, you know, choking out. He wasn't being choked out, but I think Draymond did it more for the aesthetics of it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to like Mr. Tough Guy, you know, the, 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 the prime enforcer in the NBA. It was funny, though. It was funny, man. Well, how do you think it's funny? How do you think it's funny? Because those guys ain't going to really hurt each other. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to really try to hurt each other for the most part. Um, the Mouse and the Palace was something different. That that was something totally different. These guys, you know what I'm saying, they, they'll push and shove and throw fake punches and, you know, apply pressure to areas where there aren't pressure points. But at the end of the day, 98% of times, they're not going to really try to hurt each other. But the shit is still funny, and it's still, I'm not saying what Draymond did and has been doing uh, shouldn't be punished. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that he's acting out so much like this is because they never punished his ass for all the other stuff he's done. So he's been doing all, these shit, all this shit over the last couple of years, man. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is what happens. This type of behavior escalates. A lot of this stuff used to be done, they used to say, behind the scenes. Now, now Draymond's starting to do stuff, you know what I'm saying, during games, acting a fool. But anyway, Rudy Gobert said something that I have been saying and the brother Sebney have been saying about Draymond Green over the past, I'd say, three years now. And that is... Whenever Steph Curry doesn't play, it seems like Draymond Green will find some way to get his ass ejected. Why? My theory is because he, he, he you know what I'm saying, he always supposed to be like the quote-unquote spiritual leader of the team, but he don't want to get exposed. He don't want to get exposed for being a guy that cannot elevate his game in the absence of the real, true best player on that team. He talks a good game. He talks about how, oh, I could do what Charles Barkley could do if I was on a bad team. I could put up 20 and 10 on a bad team. But we've seen him. We've witnessed this guy play on a bad team, and his stats stay the goddamn same. Offensively, this guy cannot rise to the occasion. Hell, the motherfucker went, what, three years off scoring 20 points? So Rudy Gobert said, and I'll put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. Golden State's Draymond Green was ejected for choking Minnesota's Rudy Gobert and putting him in a headlock on Tuesday. After the game, Gobert said that he knew Green would get ejected because Steph Curry wasn't playing. According to Gobert, during games Curry is not available, Green, quote, doesn't want to play and will, quote, do anything he can to get ejected. For the win, research whether or not this claim has any val uh, uh, validity whatsoever. And as it turns out, Gobert might actually have a point. Or oh, does that mean that Tura also has a point? Because I've been saying this for quite some time. That seems like whenever Draymond Green is playing without Steph Curry, he'll try to do everything he can to get his ass ejected. Green has had 18 ejections since turning pro, according to Spot Rack. 
It is worth mentioning that the first seven injections of Green's career, between 2013 and 2019, all occurred during games in which Curry was active. The first time Green was ever ejected when Curry was sidelined wasn't until November 11, 2019. Curry was out due to a broken hand after an ugly fall during the previous month. Green received two technical fouls during this game for Golden State. The French big man probably noticed Curry's absence, though because the game was a Warriors loss against the Jazz then led by Gobert. Following that ejection, the subsequent four ejections of Green's career all happened while Curry was not available. Green was also ejected while Curry was inactive on January 1, 2020 versus Detroit, February 27, 2020 versus the Lakers, February 20, 2021 versus Charlotte, March 20, 2002 versus the Spurs, and January 4, 2023 versus Detroit. So including today's discipline, seven of Green's last 11 injections occurred during games in which Curry didn't play. Told you.